monkeypox. The name itself sounds alarming. Infectious diseases know no borders. They can emerge and spread rapidly. Monkeypox is a viral zoonotic disease. It originates in animals and can spread to humans. The virus belongs to the same family as smallpox. It causes a range of symptoms from fever to rash. Our interconnected world allows diseases to spread rapidly. For years, monkeypox was largely confined to Central and West Africa. However, in recent times, the virus has made its presence known in East Africa, raising concerns about its geographic expansion. This emergence in a new region poses unique challenges and necessitates a coordinated public health response. The reasons behind the emergence of monkeypox in East Africa are complex and multifaceted. One factor is increased travel and trade between countries. As people move more freely across borders, so too can infectious diseases. Another contributing factor is the changing environment. Deforestation and encroachment into animal habitats increase the risk of contact between humans and wildlife. This heightened interaction creates opportunities for zoonotic diseases like monkeypox to jump from animals to humans. The emergence of monkeypox in East Africa highlights the importance of surveillance and early detection systems. By rapidly identifying and responding to outbreaks, we can limit the spread of the virus and protect public health. Monkeypox spreads through close contact with infected animals or humans. Understanding the transmission routes is crucial for implementing effective prevention and control measures. Transmission from animals to humans occurs through direct contact with infected animals, their bodily fluids, or contaminated materials. This can happen through bites, scratches, or handling of infected animals, dead or alive. Rodents are believed to be the primary animal reservoir of the virus, but other animals, including primates, can also carry and transmit the disease. Human-to-human -human transmission occurs through close contact with respiratory secretions, skin lesions of an infected person, or contaminated materials like clothing or bedding. Prolonged face-to-face -face contact, such as during conversations, increases the risk of transmission through respiratory droplets. It's important to note that monkeypox is not as easily transmissible as other viral diseases like measles or COVID-19. It typically requires close, often direct contact for transmission. However, understanding how the virus spreads is vital for protecting ourselves and others. Monkeypox typically presents with a distinct set of symptoms, making it identifiable with careful observation. Recognizing these signs early is crucial for seeking timely medical attention and preventing further spread. The illness often begins with flu-like symptoms, including fever, headache, muscle aches, and exhaustion. One to three days after the onset of fever, a characteristic rash develops. This rash often starts on the face and then spreads to other parts of the body. Eventually, the bumps crust over and fall off. Section 5. Diagnosis and Treatment – A Measured Approach Diagnosing monkeypox requires a combination of clinical assessment and laboratory testing. Healthcare professionals consider the patient's symptoms, travel history, and potential exposures when making a diagnosis. Laboratory testing is essential for confirming the presence of the monkeypox virus. Samples from skin lesions are collected and sent to specialized laboratories for polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, testing. PCR is a highly sensitive and specific method for detecting the virus's genetic material. While there is no specific treatment for monkeypox, supportive care is essential for managing symptoms and preventing complications. This includes rest, fluids, pain relievers, and medications to reduce fever. In severe cases, antiviral medications may be used to manage the infection and prevent serious illness. Early diagnosis and supportive care are crucial for improving patient outcomes and reducing the risk of complications. It's important to remember that monkeypox, while a serious disease, is treatable with appropriate medical attention. Section 6. Prevention – Our Best Defense Prevention remains our most effective tool in the fight against monkeypox. By understanding and implementing preventive measures, we can significantly reduce the risk of transmission and protect ourselves and our communities. Avoiding contact with infected animals is paramount. This includes refraining from hunting, capturing, or consuming wild animals, especially rodents and primates in endemic areas. 
Educating communities about the risks associated with wildlife contact is crucial for preventing spillover from animals to humans. Practicing good hygiene is another essential preventive measure. This includes regular hand washing with soap and water, especially after contact with animals or potentially contaminated materials. Covering the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing, using tissues properly, and disinfecting contaminated surfaces can also help prevent transmission. Vaccination is an effective way to protect against monkeypox. While smallpox vaccines are no longer widely available, they have been shown to provide some cross protection against monkeypox. In some cases, vaccination may be recommended for healthcare workers, laboratory personnel, and individuals who have been in contact with infected animals or humans. Section 7 Public Health Education Empowering Communities. Public health education plays a pivotal role in raising awareness about monkeypox, its transmission, and preventive measures. By empowering communities with knowledge, we can foster responsible behavior and promote collective action to control the spread of the virus. Community engagement is essential for effective public health education. Working with local leaders, healthcare providers, and community organizations can help tailor messages and interventions to specific cultural contexts and beliefs. Providing accurate and up-to-date information through various channels is crucial. This includes using mass media campaigns, social media platforms, community meetings, and educational materials in local languages to reach diverse audiences. Emphasizing the importance of early detection and seeking timely medical attention is crucial. Encouraging individuals with suspected symptoms to isolate themselves and seek medical advice can help prevent further transmission and ensure appropriate care. Section 8. A Global Health Perspective Monkeypox, while currently a concern in East Africa, is a reminder that infectious diseases are a global health issue. The interconnectedness of our world means that an outbreak in one part of the world can quickly become a threat to all. International collaboration is essential for strengthening surveillance systems, sharing information, and coordinating responses to outbreaks. The World Health Organization, or WHO, plays a critical role in providing guidance, technical assistance, and coordinating global health efforts. Investing in research and development is crucial for developing effective vaccines, diagnostic tools, and treatments for monkeypox. By supporting scientific advancements, we can enhance our ability to prevent, detect, and treat this and other emerging infectious diseases. Monkeypox is a reminder that we are all connected and that our health and well-being depend on collective action and a commitment to global health security. Section 9. Vigilance and Early Detection – Our Shared Responsibility Monkeypox is a serious public health concern, but it is a preventable and controllable disease. By understanding its transmission, recognizing its symptoms, and taking appropriate preventive measures, we can limit its spread and protect ourselves and our communities. Vigilance and early detection are paramount. It is crucial to stay informed about monkeypox, follow public health recommendations, and seek timely medical attention if you experience any symptoms. Remember, knowledge is power. By staying informed and working together, we can overcome this and other public health challenges. Let us remain vigilant, proactive, and committed to protecting the health and well-being of all.